everybody, Dearly here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain the Floor on Leon's Path. And, uh, I just bought the last candy, power candies, for the children. <laughs> so, um, I have a little scene here. Uh, there was a scene when they got the first candies too, but the thing is they don't replay the scene. So, yeah, I was unable to actually record that first scene because I didn't realize it wasn't going to play again. <sighs> and I would have to actually erase my game data and replay the whole game <laughs> in order to record that. So all I can do now is just show you guys this much that I recorded when I first got the candies. So I'll show you the scene and then we can get back to the main story. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Akane and Ru Rudy, please have these. These are... Princess, are these? Yes, these are golden confetti. I believe this will maximize your power. So it can be much more useful for Princess. Yes, yes, we can gather accurate information for Princess every time. Yes, indeed. Please eat some. Nom nom! Oh, this is... Princess, this is amazing! I feel like my body is filled with your power! Akane feels like she can do anything now! I feel like we finally became official butterflies! <laughs> you have always been my important butterflies. So, please continue to support me. Yes! And now back to the main story. This is right after... Leon and Violet spoke, and pretty much Violet has now admitted that she's in love with Leon, but she didn't want to actually say it out loud. Well, she didn't want to, but then she kind of started to, but then Leon stopped her, and he was like, no, no, you don't have to do it yet. Just take your time. So he's being a sweetheart and biding his time. He's being so patient with us. What a sweetheart. All right, so. But afterward, neither of us spoke of love again. Well, not ever again, really. It just... Not since that point, until now, which is, hasn't been that long. <laughs> there is a tacit understanding between us, and we are back to being the same as usual again. But that is only to maintain appearances. The feelings that cannot be put into words have already set things in motion. When I think of him, I feel such warmth, pain, and happiness. It was the moment I felt love for the first time. She admitted it. She admitted it in words, to us at least, that she is in love. She felt love. You are awfully late, silly Leon. You came out to greet me right on time. It just happened. I see. So this was your idea. I have no idea what you're talking about. Damn it. I knew that was strange, her showing up at such a place at that time of night. Well, it's fine. I suppose I actually kind of owe you. Huh? What do you mean? No, uh, no, it's nothing. I'm sorry for keeping quiet all this time, Ageha. Huh? As you already know, I have weird dreams or hallucinations after every grace transference. I don't know the reasons why. Perhaps it's because I wasn't officially chosen as a knight in the first place. Are you telling me this knowing what it really means? Uh, yeah, so much that it hurts. Huh. Ageha, I have a favor to ask you. If you think that I'm not worthy of being a knight, then... I don't want to hear anything more. You're not giving up on everything already. I see. Well, you are right. Let me take that back. I may ask you a favor in the future, then. And that may be the only favor that I will ever ask you in my entire life. So, please, do as I ask when that time comes. Only favor in your life. Keep that in mind. Which means she won't do him any other favors, just one. He only gets one favor the rest of his life. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that sounded pretty grim. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chapter 2 Epilogue The Beginning of the End 
That doesn't sound good, but that can't be right. We should have a long way left to go. Awaken. Everything begins here. Princess? Princess? Please, pull yourself together! <gasps> Startled, I look around. There, Rui and Akane are looking up at me. Uh, I, um... I left to go to the Crystal Palace then. I can't remember anything after that. Are you okay, Princess? Aren't you tired? If you're not well, you should postpone the ceremony. I can't do that. But... but You two, thank you for worrying about me, but I am fine, okay? Please, stay here and wait for me to return. Well, if possible, I would love to be welcomed with delicious tea and sweets. Can you please grant me this favor? Uh, if you ask us a favor, we can't reject it. It also warms my heart to have someone waiting for me. And... Nothing can bring me more happiness than having you two. Princess, I understand. We'll wait for you here. And we will comfort Princess after her hard work by treating her to tea and sweets. Yes, please, you two. I pat their heads and jump into the carriage. I have to pull myself together for them. I just stare out the window while riding the carriage. When I am alone, the things that happened last night naturally flash back into my mind. Yeah, so it was only last night. It hasn't been that long. But I'm the one who gets to be close to you right now. So, allow me to be conceited for just a moment. That will be enough. I was always confused whenever I was with Leon, but... I realize that I can be myself in front of him over time. Ugh. I am in love with him. Ugh. Why is this happening to me? It's a good thing, Violet. It's not a bad thing. Give in to it. Give in! My face blushes more when I think of him. No. Don't say no! I shake my head to keep myself from being carried away by this uncertain feeling. I have to perform work as rain today. I can't be distracted by this sort of thing. I can't be, but... No matter how much I remind myself of that, I simply feel happy to see Leon. I can't resist the feelings. This is totally unacceptable. It's fine, trust me. Just give in to it, and you won't feel troubled by it anymore. You can just deal with it, in the open. I close my eyes and try to get rid of the feelings that are growing more and more. That's the opposite of what you should do. Seems no one has shown up yet. It is better for me to change my mood. In this mystic atmosphere, I almost regain my bearings as rain. Then... Hey! You're earlier than usual today. Uh, Leon! Come on, you're overreacting. Though it was my bad to call out to you so suddenly. Anyways, please take care. <sighs> Violet? Hello? Are you listening? Uh, well... I know I have to respond. I just can't look at his face. Please, someone else come now. He's getting closer. I knew it. Your face is bright red. Uh, it is just your imagination. No, it's not. How long do you think I've been watching you? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Why did you not make your presence known? Please, don't say that kind of thing now. Well, my patience will be in vain if you keep behaving like that. When I look into his face, I notice that he is also blushing somewhat. It wasn't just me. My mind begins to calm after realizing that we both share the same feelings. Are you okay now? Yes, thank you. Just because he is here with me, that makes me strong. I feel like I can overcome anything. That's what I thought, for that moment. 
Let us begin the ceremony. Leon and Louis, please come to the water mirror. I have already told you, the transferring of grace this time will be... From Campanule to Pivone. Although I'm getting used to it, I still don't feel good about taking away from a country. Never mind that, it's nothing you should be bothered about. If you can't steal your mind, how about I lend you some of my strength, just this one time? Your loans seem to come at too high a cost. After joking around, they stretched their hands into the water mirror. I just have to carefully repeat the same thing we have done already so many times. So do I... Following after them, I try to touch the mirror-like surface of the water. Then... It begins. Uh, I heard someone's voice. The mystic voice is not coming from outside. Rather, it comes from inside my head. What was that? Violet, are you okay? I heard a voice just now. Voice? The others don't seem to hear. I look around, but everyone has the same reaction as Orpheus. They gave me such curious expressions that I suddenly stopped moving. What's happened? Why are you zoned out? If there aren't any issues, please proceed with the ceremony. It's not ideal to take too much time. I know. Hubert's familiar voice gently brings me back. I hastily put my fingertips into the water mirror. That moment... The whole world bent with vibration. Ah, it's creepy looking! What? Grace? Graces? The grace, which usually flows as smooth as a river, starts to turn muddy and stagnant. The flower crests that are reflected on the water mirror begin to shake and fade away. And yes, that's another cliffhanger! Because we don't have any more time, we don't have any more translation left to read! <laughs> but yes, we're about to be in for a lot more truth. Find out more things that Hubert's hiding from us soon. Oh, it's so wonderful having Violet admit to herself that she loves Leon! But now something bad's happening, why, should, why couldn't she just give in to it when she had the chance? Well, for our Japanese words of the day, I have, well, today and tomorrow both, I'm going to be, uh, talking about body parts. Well, the first word's not actually a body part, but it's, uh, oh, another word that's used often when people are talking about body parts. <laughs> Our three words today are voice, face, and neck. And just, you know, whenever there's a romantic scene between people, uh, they often talk about the person's face and their voice, like they love seeing their face and they love hearing their voice, so I'm putting them all together. Okay, so voice is koe, which is K-O-E, koe. Koe. Face is kao, K-A-O, kao. And neck is kubi, kubi. Okay, so voice, koe. Face, kao. And neck, kubi. I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.